Hello, my name is Jung Sang Kim. I'm a professor of electrical and computer engineering and physics at Duke University. I'm also a co-founder of a quantum computing company called IonQ. Today, I would like to discuss quantum computing. Are you ready to get started? Yes, yes. let's All do right. it. Yeah. That's great. All right, so before we get started, I'd like to start with a, with a teaser question. You know, if we see these four pictures on the screen. So the question to you is, what will be common to all of these four technologies that we use in and out every day? Um, I think they are all things that we either have at home or have used before. Like, for example, these days, laser treatments are quite common at like dermatology clinics too. Oh, that's great. All right. Maybe they are expensive. <laughs> they're expensive. I think they're, yeah. they're getting cheaper, right? They're kind of like <laughs> the pinnacle of high tech. Pinnacle mm. of high tech. All right. Well, I know that they've transformed all our lives, but if you ask me to explain how they work, I have no idea. <laughs> I could not do that at all. Yeah. All right. Don't they all have something to do with lights? Like laser, obviously, and then like GPS uses satellite signals. So ah, yes. All right. Well, I think this all makes sense, right? Because we use it all the time. But I think Megan, you have, you're onto something. Let me become give you an answer from a very scientist point of view and technologist point of view. Deep in his heart, all of these things were not available a hundred years ago. Mm -hmm. They are all enabled by new knowledge of our understanding of how the world works, called quantum mechanics. Okay. Uh, so in semiconductors, um, there are electrons that carry electricity and performs the signal. The way they behave inside of the semiconductor material, you cannot explain that without the use of quantum mechanics. In the cell phones, we access information, meaning we connect to servers that are miles and miles away, even some in a different continent. And the way we transport that information back and forth from your cell phone to the server is done through optical communications, mm -hmm. and we use pulses of light uh, to, to transform that information. That cannot be explained uh -huh. without quantum physics. 